welcome to take a good look. On behalf of the panel and Ernie Kovacs, may we all wish you a very happy and prosperous... <laughs> Starring Ernie Kovacs, brought to you by Dutch Master Cigar. Skillfully blended to give you cool, clear, mild taste. Next time, step up to finer smoking pleasure with Dutch Master, a fine cigar. And here he is, Ernie Kovacs. And no wonder Peggy was sick tonight. Peggy Conley, who was always with us, <laughs> is ill with a virus this evening. And Jolene Brand, uh, another friend of the family, is consented to step in. And then we told her what she was going to do when she got here. <laughs> <laughs> when she got it. And she is here. And uh, oh. thank you and good evening and welcome. We'd like to introduce our, our panelists now. Uh, going from left to right, a man whose hair and teeth are white, but his heart is black. <laughs> and now the the only blonde who was allowed in my house after midnight my wife Edia. <laughs> and now a man who just before he joined this panel applied for a Viennese patent for a rifle that would shoot 1,200 yards and weigh one pound. Unfortunately, it only shot one yard and weighed 1,200 pounds. Hans Conway. And now, with a complete grasp of the English language, I explain to you the game. Uh, this is a game that takes a half hour. <laughs> now, I'd like to give you a word about Dutch masters who pays for the game. This is an interesting word. It's I spy dry three from six seven eight nine ten. A one, two, three, four, five. Man alive, take five five fine cigars in one five pack. Now, from Dutch masters, the new slim down five pack. One, pull the band. Two, take one out. Three, close it up. Four, fits any pocket. Man alive, you love this five. Mild, smooth smoking Dutch masters in a new slim down five pack. Perfect for today's active men. Wherever you are, whatever the occasion, you'll want this new feature. Just pull the band, take the first cigar out, the five pack slims down like this to fit your pocket. Your dealer now carries all popular Dutch Masters sizes in the new Slim Down 5-pack. One, two, three, four, five. Man alive, take five. Try a Dutch Masters Slim Down 5-pack soon. All right, uh, now, panel, we're ready to begin the game, as we explained earlier. And here is your first guest. Take a good look. Sit right down here, if you will, please. Uh, it will not be necessary to guess this gentleman's name. We simply would like to know why he has appeared in the newspapers. You have $50, sir, and we're going to ask the home audience to play along with us. Therefore, we will not tell you what he has done. Panel, here's your first clue. Take a good look. <laughs> you can't mean me. <laughs> you know, you're right. 
is this uh, this thing? This is not a, a harbinger of the new year, is it? This uh, what you've done? Is this something that you have done, or something you're going to do? Uh, have done. Oh, you have done. It's not something that Ernie thinks I'm going to do next year. No. <laughs> <laughs> you have done it recently or two or three years before? Pretty brief, right? Recently, within the last week. Within the last month. Within the last month. Uh, did this... If you, if, you, if you think that I thought you were going to come out on your hands and knees from the store club, no. <laughs> uh, Hansela. <laughs> Sir, please. Sir, please. Uh, you are a physician by profession? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, we are to that. But this gentleman has a long and distinguished career in medicine. <clears throat> That's a guess. Now, let's be succinct. By no means do you limit yourself to uh, the delivery of children, of infants, no. babies. General practitioner. All right, uh, Hans. Uh, now that we have established this is a doctor, uh, may I go to Cesar Romero to ask uh, our doctor some more questions? Uh, did this thing that you do, Doctor, did this uh, take place out here in California? No. Did it take place in the eastern states? Uh, south. Southeastern. Don't tell him any questions. <laughs> <laughs> more, more, more. Life, Let him ask you. <laughs> I'm not sure, though. Huh? No. I don't know. The big thing first. Was it written up in Life magazine? Uh, yes, I think so. Well, you're, you seem to be getting very warm. Uh, you have a hundred dollars, Doctor. And here, panel, is your second clue. Be pretty glad you come. What hurt you? Back. Back. Back hurt. Give him me stride forward. Take it up on you cards, catch you. Give me long stick with things on it. <laughs> Give me dried eagle tongue. Yes, Juana. By the way, my name not Juana, my name Bernard. <laughs> <laughs> How long back hurt? Many moon. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No wonder you've been sleeping on moccasins. <laughs> <laughs> Edie, you look like you're just dying to answer. Oh, something. yes, yes. Here we go. The first one had something remotely connected with what the man did, but this with the knock words off the medicine stick again. <laughs> what what knock you? words. Well, I don't have my glasses on. Words. I can't. Whatever you did, you, the stork obviously made him think that you were a doctor. Did you deliver um, a famous infant uh, recently? No. <laughs> Did you maybe deliver was, an... An infant became a famous man. Maybe it's very difficult for an infant to be famous. <laughs> well, uh, a Unless they were terribly fast. A famous parentage. Go. Uh, the bell rang, I'm afraid. I believe now, uh, <laughs> if this is the article which I vaguely recall, uh, that this doctor has had a most distinguished career of, uh, of signal service to a particular... Uh, a locality that celebrated, I don't know, 50 years of practice or 60 years of practice by uh, all the, the uh, persons who had been delivered or uh, at whose birth the doctor had officiated or uh, what is it, uh, practice? Or you got the it. The word that I'm looking <laughs> I, I, uh, I, in, uh, in all... It's got to be Sioux City, Iowa after that. In, in <laughs> all fairness, uh, Are we way I, I off? will tell you, uh, Hans, that I think you are close enough to be correct. Oh, yes, it was well, well, right. Right. It is, it is our particular privilege to have with us the distinguished Dr. Chesley M. Martin of Elgin, Oklahoma, who was just chosen the Family Doctor of the Year by the American Medical Association. As 
as a further identification, but rather a further uh, look into on our part and a further evaluation in his 44 years of practice. Dr. Martin has delivered 2,500 babies and besides serving his community as the medicine man to 25 Comanche Indian families in the area. Well, we, uh, just one question, uh, sir, if I may, uh, would you sit down just one moment? Uh, how old were you when you began your practice? Twenty-five. Twenty-five? Mm -hmm. Had you always, did you begin your practice in Elgin? Uh, no. North Carolina. North Carolina, and when did you go to Elgin, Oklahoma? 1916. 1916. Uh, yeah. You've been there since then. That's right. I think there's a wonderful thing, there's so many families who are particularly grateful to Dr. Martin that I'm sure that each one of those families that sees them tonight on the air will be particularly happy. We're so happy for you to come with us and thank you so much for coming. Thank you. There is a very distinguished career. I think that each one of us when he has co completed his life uh, should he have something as great to look back upon, he'll be particularly happy. It's a wonderful thing. We're very proud to have this gentleman with us tonight. Going to another angle, those of you who by now know that uh, most programs which originate in any particular place at all in this country have delayed broadcasts. Sometimes you see uh, Santa Claus coming down the chimney with the firecrackers going off in your front yard. Uh, <laughs> will know that uh, our New Year's Eve greeting at the opening of the show is meant for those of you who see our show this New Year's Eve. However, we continue in that particular vein and we give you our New Year's Eve commercial for the Dutch Masters Cigar. As the holiday season manifests itself, it is more than custom to witness various degrees of inebriety evident upon the members of the populace through an over-imbibing of stimulants traditionally in supplement of this time. In other words, everybody's a little bagged. <laughs> However, not so in this industry. Here is Mr. Ernie Kovacs to present the commercial for Dutch Masters. Finer smoking pleasure with Dutch Masters, the fine cigar. Please, please do me a favor. Go out and buy a fistful of Dutch Masters tomorrow. Will you just to thank them for letting me do these commercials? Because I think they're just great. I mean, not the commercials, but the people. All right, we, we bring you now our second guest. Panel, take a good look. Uh, this uh, is a member of the female gender, yep. and with that to start with, uh, I will tell you that the people at home will know just what Miss X has done so that they can uh, laugh at your mistakes. Our guest is Miss Elaine Shepard, a reporter for the Women's News Service, who was the only accredited woman <laughs> press representative accompanying President Eisenhower on his global tour. We need a brand hmm? mm -hmm. All right. Now that everyone knows at home what she has done, it will not be necessary to get her by name, but we would like to know, as we always do, just what uh, she has appeared in the newspapers for. You have $50, and here, panel, is your first clue. Then a good eyes of March to you. Junius Delius with the day's happening. <laughs> Here are the late headlines of tomorrow morning's scrolls. New wave of assassinations sweeps forum. 
Caesar makes goodwill tour of Gaul. I did. Senate committee <laughs> probes payola among gladiators. <laughs> More news in just 20 days. <laughs> Word from our sponsor. Bring in the cue scrolls, please. <laughs> hey, fellas. Stepping out formal tonight? Well, if you are, don't forget to rent your black tie toga from Antonio Martinez's Toga Rental Service. All Antonio Martinez's merchandise are backed by his famous slogan, I dreamt I went to the chariot races in my maid in the forum toga. <laughs> Martinez's toga rental shops are found in all principal cities of the empire. In Rome, in Athens, and in Cicero, the number is Bigelow 173900. And now, back Pardon to the news. Fire, but a bulletus. A bulletus. <laughs> Bullet pump. Bulletus. <laughs> no. Ah, this special bulletin from the Highway Praetorium. Westbound traffic along the Appian Freeway is temporarily congested due to a collision between a chariot and one of Hannibal's elephants. Drivers are cautioned to use alternate routes. And now, back to the news. No, we're on the air. We're on the air. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Here's a special sports flash from the Circus Maximus. End of third period, score, Gladiators nothing, Lions eight. Well, eight well. Eat, is it? Very English. Let us, uh, let us begin our round of qu uh, questioning with uh, Cesar Romero. Uh, may I say that I got absolutely nothing from that clue because I'm sure it has nothing to do with broadcasting. Let's right? keep it that way. That's right. It has nothing to do with broadcasting. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, does this thing that you, uh, that you participated in, did it take place uh, in some sort of a meeting house uh, where... Uh, uh, people get together, uh, government people get together. It's reasonably well put. <laughs> reasonably well put. For you. For me, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Peter, you were there. He said so. Just a minute. Edith, my dear. Now you have a fresh girl, you have fresh kissing clothes. Again. Right. <laughs> it's the same She's thing not again. so fresh. What? We were back there for quite some time, dear. Nothing happened. <laughs> mm, I see. Uh, this, of course, had nothing to do with uh, anything Roman. Greek, Carthaginian. Classic. Um, no? Partially. Partially to do with Roman, anything Roman or Italian? Well, not specifically. That is not our not specific specifically. intent. I don't think you're on the right track, but I can't say oh, no. With either. those clues. What, did you understand that one? I thought they were amusing. <laughs> Listen, uh, what are you doing after the show, my dear? Oh, yes, uh-huh, the chisel. The lady who is as gracious as she is beautiful. Um, oh, what a snide. That's just a friendly <laughs> beginning, that's all, honey. Um, Mr. Connery is not handicapped for the knowledge of the facts. No, he's, no, he's not. And if he ah. has that type in any higher, it'll be in his lips. <laughs> <laughs> Have you completed your, your amusing... Uh, uh, have you begun to my person's, uh, Yes, I, I have accosted you for the last time this evening. <laughs> uh, miss, please. Uh, has it to do, uh, per se, with Rome itself now? No. May I ask, are you a performer? Have we ever worked together? I'm... Let's keep our personal lives out of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you appeared in the theater? It would be irrelevant at this point, but I have, yes. Oh. Yes, we saw a show together, remember? Yes. That's what. Oh, there's your end of the line, <laughs> one. Uh, and now we, we have $100 for you, that is. Oh. And is that, is that nice? Sure. Of course, there's a deduction. But uh, now let us go to clue two. Wait, what is the question? Luella. Luella. A ship. See it? A ship. Look. Look. <laughs> You're right. We've got to wave something at them. They're too far away. What do we wave? <laughs> no, 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 no. We'll 
wait till a ship comes in closer to a sea island. <laughs> Second clue, Caesar. Oh, I'm further away than ever. Uh, so was the ship. That's why we had all that trouble. Does uh, uh, did this thing that you do did it take place in the Middle West? No, no. No, in California. No. Oh, well, getting back to uh, members of government, does it include uh, council members of a city or a town? No. No. It doesn't. Uh, well, I don't think so. Edith, well, say no. It Edith. takes time. But Edith? <laughs> say yes, it takes time. She didn't have anything to do with being stranded. Anything but. Well, naturally, of course, because they were stranded. Um, <laughs> on a desert island, you know, it had, had to be. Um, did it have anything to do with, uh, with clothing, dressmaking? No. You're taking Romance? these clues too seriously, my dear. No, there is a clue. There's a positive clue there. Uh, and we'll the explain it all to us after the Naturally. Show. No, naturally. Uh, ha May I? Please. Uh, miss, <laughs> Please. did this happen at sea? Was there any association with the sea or ocean? Or Partially. Partially. It was in the... So that's never why been I'd, that I'd, way before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're not playing fair, you know. No. Uh, we're in the hands of blackguards. Uh... <laughs> Did this happen within the last month? Oh, wait, is it possible we would like only wait for the third clue, Miss X. You know, this will... Oh. I'm willing to wait right now. I'll happily see the third clue. Wait do you see the third clue, Hans. Let's give them the third clue. You have $150. If they miss this, and there's every indication that they will, uh, you'll have $300. Uh, here, here, ladies and uh, lady and gentlemen, or gentlemen. <laughs> so that's uh, good for you, Ernie. Uh, for, <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's use our own jokes, shall we? Uh, here is your third clue. We've had it. The lady took a trip. She's... No. Ocean trip? No, it's a trip. It's a trip. Around the world in an airplane. She went round the world in a bottle. A lot of Caesar, in a bottle. Caesar, the, he there is your... Sold. Caesar, uh, he's the only one not talking, and it's his turn. How come? Caesar, my dear, speak. It has nothing to do with a trip. It does. This is a trip that you made? Yes, I did. By sea? Partially. Partially. Uh, Ellie Bly, she ain't. Did you also uh, go by air? Partially. Did you also walk? Yes, sir. Uh, but not, that wouldn't have anything to do directly with the issue. Well, she walked from, you know, from ship to shore, from yeah. plane to plank, and so forth. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, Edith, my dear. Uh, did you drive? No, I didn't. W was this over a long distance? Yes. Uh, more than 3,000 miles? Quite a bit more. Uh, around the world? Not quite. Up and down. Go that far, you might as well go all the way. <laughs> <laughs> Did you go somewhere and come back? Yes. You saw the clue. Well, that's why she's here, you see. She returned. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, if the other... Uh, the lady has made a remarkable trip. That's all we can say for her. Nice. That's what, that's what Katie, you said. This one that she for? made down to the studio tonight has been more profitable for us than seeing the lady's beauty and charm. Uh, we are lost, Ernie. We must confess it. Are you willing to... Uh, to uh, Throw in the towel, as it were. Is there another clue? Uh, is there anything else? Did you go to Italy? Italy? Yes, I did. You went to Italy? Yes. It had nothing to do with Rome, I thought. Well, may I, may I interrupt uh, this flow of low IQ type humor? <laughs> this, this, my, my, my stumbling, fumbling trio is Miss Elaine Shepard, a reporter for the Women's News Service who was the only, only I repeat that, the only accredited woman press representative accompanying President Eisenhower on his global tour. We, we will have a moment to talk with Ms. Shepard. Uh, however, in order for us to do this properly, we first must have you stand by so that you will see what we are trying to sell so that you won't go away and then you'll stay to hear Miss Shepherd, thereby staying all night. Shadow.
perfectly combined to make a masterpiece. That was the hallmark of the famous Dutch master, Rembrandt. So it is with modern Dutch masters. Light, sunlight, the clear, rich fragrance of tobaccos ripened by a tropical sun, and shadow, the cool, refreshing mildness of shade-grown tobaccos are perfectly combined to make Dutch masters clear, cool blend. Light up. Savor the clear, rich fragrance of sunlight, the cool, refreshing mildness of shade. Dutch Masters, from end to end, a clear, cool blend. Seven sizes from two for a quarter to 25 cents each. Try the slim, extra-long Panatella styled for the man with a modern outlook. Where else can you buy a masterpiece for just a few pennies more? Next time, step up to finer smoking pleasure with Dutch Masters, the fine cigar. Uh, Miss Shepard and uh, uh, panel, I know that there are many interesting things that you have to tell us. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that uh, the most obvious thing would be to ask you what is the most interesting thing that happened to you on this exciting trip with the 81 other men. Actually, no, let me rephrase that. <laughs> Let's just say on the trip. It would be impossible to single out any particular incident because it was all simply glorious. It's a great honor to travel with the President of the United States uh, any time, but um, this was, as you know from reading the magazines and newspapers, quite historic. And um, actually, it was an extraordinary ratio. There were 83 uh, male correspondents. Mm -hmm. and. Um, uh, when uh, we rested uh, for three days by I cruising. I should think so. <laughs> uh, no, but we did cruise the Mediterranean, and uh, when uh, Bob Eisenhower was the only woman aboard the Des Moines, and I was the only woman aboard the Essex. How many men were on the Essex? 3,130. <laughs> Golly. And it That's felt very strange last night to be an extra woman at dinner. <laughs> <laughs> But there were many bizarre idiocies and lots of uh, Kipling-like pomp and ceremony and actually... Uh, you had an incident where you uh, wanted to see the, uh, the head of the protocol in some particular country. Oh, yes. What was that? Afghanistan was... Uh, they had an answer to Max Sennett that day. Uh, we uh, had a wild ride in from the airport 50 miles to the uh, capital, which is Kabul, and uh, it's quite a chore keeping up with the elite White House press corps, so I thought I would uh, corner His Majesty uh, uh, before anyone else did. And I went up to one little Afghan and said, uh, where is your chief of protocol? And he talked to a series of other people and said, this woman has a problem. And uh, they couldn't imagine what a woman was doing along anyway, and so finally somebody with great big brown eyes slipped up to me and put his nose against mine and said, you have to go to the ladies' room. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Good night, Miss Shepard. <laughs> Good night, panel. Happy New Year. Good night. Take a good look. Brought to you by Dutch Masters. Skillfully blended to give you cool, clear, mild taste. Next time, step up to finest smoking pleasure with Dutch Masters. The fine cigar.